origami is amazing. It lets you do stuff like this beautiful flower lily thing. This 3D origami vase. Wow, oh my god. It's red and white, so half my viewers are probably gonna kill us. And this amazing swan. Or you could even make something just like this origami Darth Vader. Or, last but not least, you could make this drag. What the hell? What the hell is this? Hey guys, my name is Akono, and welcome to a video all about origami. Yes, just a quick shout out to all these epic origami people before the video starts. Akira Yoshizawa, the original master of origami, you're a genius, may you rest in pizza. Satoshi Kamiya, John Akashima, Tadashi Mori, Robert J. Lang, Joseph Wu, Kade-chan. Thank you all, you're amazing. Arigato gozaimasu. I just want to start off this video by saying that I absolutely love origami. It's been a lifelong hobby which I've been addicted to ever since I started out making these little planes and boats when I was 6. Now I'm 14 and I'm making epic dragons and stuff and I'm just so mesmerised and fascinated by how origami works and how awesome it is. So I made this video for a couple of reasons. Firstly, to get more people interested and inspired to get into origami because I really think that it's a beautiful art which is really creative and everything. Secondly, to fill you in on why I personally love origami so much and how it's something that I value personally. And finally, to prove all my friends wrong who say that I'm sad and that origami is a waste of time. Well, you're about to get absolutely destroyed by my mad origami ying explanatory skills yeah anyway if anyone doesn't know and if you don't I will go to your house and not give you pizza um, basically origami is this ancient Japanese art form which is folding paper into cool stuff because origami translates from Japanese into folding paper so you might be thinking why is this dumb guy with no real friends standing in front of a camera by himself addicted to this weird Japanese thing from the 1600s well, my friend, firstly, I'm Asian, so I'm probably smarter than you. That's just a bit annoying. You have to smirk away. I think we'll let you carry on this. That is ridiculous. Plus, I got 98% in the physics university paper when I was 12, and I got 94 in the intermediate UKMT math challenge, and I got this thing for best chess player in school in 2012 in primary, so who's the dumb guy now, huh? Well, I mean, I mean, I still have no friends who would say yes to being in a video with me, so I'll have to wear this dodgy wig, so you still win. Back to origami, although it was kind of fun slagging myself off. Nah. So, origami, it's not just about folding paper, okay? I mean, we use origami in science and all around us so much, but no one really notices. I mean, it's in use right above our heads, right now. Check out this clip of how origami can be used in space. Some of the devices, it's harder to see the origami. For example, in one device, the origami helped us understand how to get the motion but if you were to see the actual device, you wouldn't actually see much of the origami in it. It's, it's 3D printed out of titanium. I'm working on an origami-inspired deployable solar array for spacecraft. The spacecraft would be inside an, a rocket, like an Atlas V rocket, and the solar array would wrap around the outside of the spacecraft. And it would be all folded up compactly and then launched into space and deployed. By using origami principles, we can get a much larger array into space by stowing it compactly during launch. Origami, having deep roots, is an ancient art. You would think that as a field of exploration, it would have been played out long ago. But the opposite is true. There are no limits on the horizon, either artistically or now in this new technological area, in the applications of origami-inspired design. Also, if you end up getting a heart attack and you need open heart surgery, then origami might just save your life. Check this out. Origami is often useful in medicine for much the same reason that it's useful in space. If you have something that is flat and sheet-like, but you want to get it into the body, you want it to go in through as small a hole as possible. So doctors are always looking for some kind of way to be less invasive or to be more precise or perhaps to do surgeries that require more precision, maybe working with nerves or something that is very small. And finally, if you're in the police force and there's a riot, you've got a breakup and there's people with guns, origami could be the best thing ever, because check this out. We're working on an origami-based, deployable, ballistic barrier that will keep emergency personnel safe during a hostile situation. We met with federal agents that often use current shields and asked what could help them to better do their job. This pattern is a Yoshimura crease pattern, and when it deploys, it provides these nice angles, which we hope will be an even more effective shape for a barrier. One of the great things about this particular fold pattern is that it opens and closes really easily. 
Today's objective was to see if it worked, if it actually stops bullets. My first thought was, did he miss? <laughs> so I went back to the high-speed camera that had been filming and the bullet sunk right in. So this shows that paper can be replaced by other materials and be scaled up or down for loads of practical uses. Another thing I want to mention is that it's so easy to get into origami. I mean, there are literally hundreds and thousands of videos and websites which go from stupidly easy to this. I mean, there's stuff for everyone, and if you're finding a particular model tricky, ask me to show you, I can make a video on it if you want. I remember actually in year three when it was raining at lunch times and we had indoor lunch, and I'd be sitting down at a desk with loads of paper and list, and there was this huge queue of people who'd ask us to make the origami models of stuff, and like, I'd write their names down on the list, and then what they'd want us to make, and that was pretty much each rainy lunchtime in year three, just making origami scorpions and butterflies and whales and birds, and I think the most popular request was origami guns. <sighs> Good times, good times. I mean, now no one really gives a damn. I mean, last year I made loads of origami, like dragons and unicorns and pirates and stuff, to raise money for this charity thing in school. Me and my friend managed to sell 12 quid of origami in two days, whereas in year five, me and a different friend went around selling origami at the end of year picnic, and we made nine quid in about half an hour. So overall, this video was just to kind of ignite a spark of creativity and hopefully inspire you to try origami or just something creative like that. I mean, I'm quite a big fan of paper craft as well. That's really cool. So I hope you found this video interesting and feel free to leave any thoughts in the comments. I mean, I'd never delete comments no matter how bad they are because haters always make us laugh. But anyways, thanks for watching and take care. Origami is Japanese. I'm not Japanese. Run. Lily on the run. There's a lily on the run.